I still need to recover from another love Oh, would you be here for me? Never met your parents, not even your mother But let's see where this leads What should we do tonight? What if this breaks your little heart? Fam, if you're new here, my name's Janaya. This is Live a Thousand Lives. Today I'm coming at you with my June bingo TBR. Now, we're gonna have a lot to talk about because I'm participating in whatever a thon, and I'm gonna be on team Sunset Scholars. Um, and I've already picked the first two prompts for this. Um, which I will insert here and let you know what I'm reading. I am participating in whatever you want a thon and I'm a sunset scholar. Um, our hosts are Jade, Beth, Christy, and Maddie. Um, so we all, each team has a bingo board. This is mine. Um, so I saw Maddie do this and actually really liked the idea. So she threw darts at her board to get her prompts. I'm gonna use a wheel on my phone and I will insert it here for you. My chair is super squeaky. My goal for whatever a thon is to read six books. You had to say how many books you wanted to try to read in the month. So I've been reading four. So I'm gonna try to read six this month. And so what I'm gonna do is um, starting today, I'm going to spin a will decide with all the prompts on it and I'll spin it twice um, for like this week and then next week and what have you. So every time I finish a book I will re-spin for my next prompt but let's get into spinning for the first two. Um, I do have ideas about books I'd read for every prompt but it really depends on the prompts I get and when I get them and that kind of thing. So I'm not really gonna go over that. Um, let's just say in May, um, I did not complete my TBR, but I was close. So I'm not gonna take any punishments in July for May. May was my birthday month and um, we've been dealing with a lot of stuff. My husband is moving at the end of this week, so and I'm filming this on June 1st, so in like three to five days, he will be moving to Idaho. So there's a whole bunch of new changes coming, so you're gonna have to bear with me. Um, I'm just going through it. So anyway, let's get on with this. So I'm going to screen record the wheel for you guys. Okay, so. The only prompts I don't have are a couple of the gray prompts, which are like self-care prompts. Um, I didn't put join sprints because I did that um, yesterday. For me, it was yesterday. For them, it was like midnight today. So um, I did that already. And I didn't do the join a 48 hour readathon because I'm not sure when that is. So I didn't want to put it on there. Um, but everything else that's on here is on my wheel. So. Let's spin it and see how it goes. Ooh, fave genre. Okay, so my favorite genres are romance, um, smut, and fantasy. So, I'll have to look into that. And uh, prompt number two. under 300 pages okay all right so those are my two prompts let me go figure out what i'm reading for those and i'll be right back okay so i think for under 300 pages i'm going to be reading raven's lore by reed dumas um it is 98 pages 
so that's gonna be great it'll be on the kindle i'll put a picture of it here um for favorite genre i'm having trouble should i do exposed which is a smut romance that i have been enjoying it's the fourth book in the series and it's only probably like 300 pages or should i listen to royal assassin by robin hobb i have about whoops i have about 10 hours and 51 minutes left so that's what i'm thinking about i'm gonna say this i think i'm gonna do royal assassin for favorite genre so as you saw i'm reading uh raven's lore and i'm doing either ransomed or royal assassin for the first two prompts that i got for that um and hopefully i can fit those on this board um as far as punishments go may has been a rough month and i know i've been saying this a lot lately but with things going on with my family um my husband is moving on sunday so today is the third of june he will be going to another state to work in two days so it's just been an adjustment so I'm not going to take any punishments this month but in July if I don't finish June's TBR then I will I also need to remember that I have rollovers and saves because I haven't been remembering that um but anyway let's get on with um bingo make sure you watch my may wrap up because i did participate in desertathon and i finished four books so yeah um also for whatever a thon i pledged six books it's just a pledge so i'm hoping i can get that done um but yeah i'm sorry i look a mess but i realized it was june 3rd and i was like i really need to film this so Here's what you're going to get and bear with me because it's probably the genetic you're going to get for a while because I'm struggling. I'm going through it. So anyway, oh, I made some changes to the board. Let me go over that. So I have this huge bag of prompts now that will go underneath the numbers so I can change out the prompts every time. Um, there's a lot in here, but if you have any suggestions for prompts, I'm doing good prompts, bad prompts, prompts out of my control. So anything like lowest rated on Goodreads or polls or Tim picks or my husband picks or whatever, those are things I have no control over. So that's the kind of prompt they are. I also have specific books that I put on a couple of these. I also have normal prompts. I have bad prompts like um, for me like a classic is a bad prompt or like a book over um, a certain amount of pages or a second chance author. I also have um, prompts that someone did give me on Twitter. Um, so those prompts are written like they're all written in different colors i don't know if you can see that but this blue one is from um books books ink books and ink um and i have tons of prompts from them in the in here as well so lots of different types i also have good prompts which could be like a cozy reading night or minus one ball that kind of stuff so if you have any ideas for prompts let me know. Um, also, if you have any ideas for rewards or punishments, or when we get a bingo, let me know in the comments. So, that's our prompts. Um, I do have numbers, they're new. Um, we'll change out the numbers every time, and we'll change out the prompts every time. So, um, <clears throat> it'll just be, I wanted prompts that I could change so I wasn't getting the same prompts all the time, and this helps with that. I am still doing this so um, whenever I hit three we add a prompt there you go um, if I was to pull 
a minus one that would work for the extra prompts as well just so you're aware and I think that's it so we're gonna do our six prompts even though there's what 14 no 25 um, prompts on here but I'm just gonna play this as I go so like I said I've already pulled uh, the two prompts I'm working on is under 300 pages and favorite genre, I think. Um, and so, and then I've already joined sprints, so there's a little X in the corner. Um, I'm not crossing them all off because you can redo the prompts. Um, so, yeah. So that's that. Let's get on with bingo now. Is that any better? A little bit. Okay. So since we're not doing the wheels this time, I'm going to scooch it this way. And then you can see the board. So there's a space here because eventually um, I will put something there. Probably um, the prompts or numbers or something. I don't know. Um, I'm using my rainbow colored hearts for June because it's Pride Month and all that. So yeah, anyway, I've been talking for seven minutes now. Let's get on with roll number one. Okay, roll number one. That just flew out at me. So apparently that one really wants to be the prompt. G46. It's not on our board. Just randomly in a pull prompt. Adult sci-fi. This is one of the prompts from books in ink. Okay, so once I have done a prompt, I'm going to put it in here so that we don't keep getting them over and over. And then when I have a bingo, we'll do the board over. So adult sci-fi and number 46, which had three. So now we're doing seven. Roll number two. That's the wrong way. And it is I-21, which is not on our board. So New adult. Okay. Lots of adult ones. Not I. 21. That's only the second one. Okay. Ball number three out of seven. You're not getting anything from the board today. O oh, 69. Oh, 69. We're up to eight. Because oh, 69 had three. Okie dokie. And now I have to draw the prompt for that. So, oh, 69. We're going to go with hardback. That's an easy one. That's nice. Ball number four. Oh, it already came out. Okay. N39, which is not on our board. Oh gosh, okay, this is another prompt from Books and in Ink and it's outfit equals cover. So I have to try to find a cover that matches my outfit, which I'm wearing 
a gray shirt with maroon and blue on it and black yoga pants. So that'll be fun to try to find. Hopefully we don't get another bug. No, this one it has its first one. Whoop, whoop. Okay. I was a little nervous there. Okay. And ball number five. And I dropped it. Of course I did. Hold, please. Okay. B13, which is not on our board. This one. Oh, intriguing title. Ooh, okay. This is its second. Good. All right. Number six. Ball six. That one just flew out of me. <laughs> okay. Oh my goodness. B12. B12, which is not on our board. B12 had one, so now it has two. And let's see what prompt we got. Oh, this oh, another species. So the main character or one of the main characters can't be a human or, um, has to be something else. So for instance, like I, with my Tana Stone series, one perspective is human, one perspective is alien. So that would count. Or like if there's um, like Spell Slinger, one of the main characters is like a cat or something, that would count, um, that kind of thing. Another species, okay. Do tell me if you like this uh, way that I'm doing the bingo now. I think we'll get a lot more prompts this way, but let me know what you guys think. Okay, seven. Almost done. Maybe. Let's see. Ooh, B8, which is on our board. Okay, so B8. Oh no. Random page number. So I'll have to get a random number generator. So let me put one of my hearts up. There. Ooh, look at that. We could almost have one there, almost have one there. Dang. Okay. Anyway. B8. Eight. This is the first one for B8. Okay, so we're gonna do the random page number now. So we're gonna do, do I have a page number? Oh, here we go. Random number generator. Okay, we're, let me, okay. We're gonna go from like a hundred to 500. I'm gonna be nice to myself. I'm not gonna go over 500. Okay, here we go. And I'll put it up there for you. 239, okay. So I need to come within, for me, I do 50 pages of each, but I'm gonna try to get as close as I can. So it'll be as close to 239 within 50 pages as I can get. And last one, unless we get one that has three on it. Mm. 
Okay. O70, which is not on our board. I looked. Okay. So. O70 had one. Okay. Whew. That's nice. <clears throat> so, no more of that. Now let's see what the prompt is, since 070 was not on the board. Oh no, okay. This is an actual book, The Way I Used to Be. I think I have that. I will look. If not, we'll have to draw another one, but okay so i'm gonna go find my books and i will be right back to let you know what i'm reading and if i found books that fit for prompts for whatever a thon okay so i'm gonna have to redraw for the last one for 070 because i cannot find the way i used to be i've looked in all the boxes I have here. I've looked in my car, I've looked on the desk. I've looked everywhere, I cannot find it. So, I'm gonna keep it in there because I know I have it, but Karina actually might have it at college. So, let's see what 070's prompt will be instead. weapon on the cover okay that I so I have my bingo TBR so let's go over that I'm not gonna tell you where I'm gonna put them with the uh, sunset scholars except for the two books that I showed you earlier where they're gonna go um, but that may change so I will update you in my vlogs when I finished a book, what prompt I'm using it for. So anyway, for G46, which was not on our board, and the prompt I pulled was adult sci-fi, I'm going with Sleeping Giants by Sylvain Neville. I tried reading this book once before and just did not get along with it. Um, but I'm going to try this again. Hopefully this works for me because if not, I'm going to unhaul it. So, yeah. Um, so far what I know about this is it's about a young girl who rides her bike in the woods, I think. And she ends up stumbling into a hole where she ends up in a metal hand. And it's kind of about what happens with that. That's what I know of it. For I-21, which was also not on our board, the prompt was new adult, and I believe this is new adult, and I'm very excited to read it. And that is One Last Stop by Casey McQuiston. This looks so cute. But what I know about this is it's about a girl named August who um, ends up meeting a girl named Jane on it, the subway, but Jane is like trapped in a time paradox or something. So she like is from the 1970s or something. So I'm very excited to see how this goes. Um, but yeah, I think it'll be cute. And I believe it's new adult. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure it's new adult, not young adult. And I don't quite think it's adult adult. So, I'm going to use it for new adult. The next one was 069, which was not on our board, and that was a hardback. And for this, you guys are going to think I'm crazy, but I've been really wanting to read this. So, we're putting it on here, and that's A Court of Silver Flames. I am currently 239 pages into this, so I have this much left to read. But I can't stop thinking about this, so I'm putting it on here. And I'm going to try to read it this month. I'm, I've tabbed it up. 
and I'm going to just try to read the section every day um, until it's done because I love it. And I want to know what happens before the next one comes out, which I think comes out this year sometime or maybe next year, but I really want to know. And I can't really tell you what this book's about, but the series or the first book is about a girl named Farah who kills a wolf and ends up being taken by a fae to the fae lands and that's the beginning of the story. For the next one was N39 which was also not on our board and that was to match my outfit with the book cover. Now this might be stretching a little bit. I went with the gray and the blue. I didn't do the red. Um, in the black because I'm wearing black pants but I'm going to be reading the guest list gray blue black it matches so I'm very excited to read this I have been dying to read this book and so I'm excited I all I know about this is that a list of people go to an island um, well, I'll just read you the back. An exclusive wedding on a remote Irish island, which I'm Irish, by the way, and I want to go to Ireland so bad. Um, the bride, the plus one, the best man, the wedding planner, and the bridesmaids. They all have a secret. They all have motive. But only one of them is a murderer. <laughs> so good. And this is like an isolation murder mystery, which I love. This reminds me so much of the... Um, oh gosh, what's it called? A uh, Family Guy episode where they go to the mansion, they all get invited to this like mansion on a cliffside and people start dying and it's hilarious. Um, it's one of my favorite Family Guy episodes, so I'm excited to read this and see what I think about it in book four. <laughs> the next one was B13 and it was also not on our board and it was an uh, intriguing title for this I went with Raven's Lore um, I'll put a picture up here this book is only 98 pages on my Kindle and so for a readathon it's really good so I'm going to be using that um, in the readathon but also Raven's Lore I was like hmm wonder what this is about and it sounds very interesting and I'm already on chapter 2 so I'm excited to keep reading this one. Um, so far, I'm, I didn't really look into what this is about. So far, it's about this girl and she's trying to stay away from someone. But that's about it. That's all I know. So we'll see how it goes. <laughs> the next one was B12, which was also not on our board. And that was another species. And for this, I'm going with Ransomed by Tiana Stone because um, one of the POVs is from the male characters who are all aliens. So we're going with this one, the fourth in the series, which I've loved so much. So have I read Ransomed? No, I haven't. Okay, anyway. <laughs> the Tiana Stone series is about a group of aliens called Draxons who have made a deal with the government of earth that they will protect us from other alien species that would be out to destroy us as long as we give them brides so women who don't have family ties or friend connections who are down on their luck um basically people who won't be missed which it, it sounds horrible but um like people who don't have connections to other people really and um yeah it's it can be problematic but they're so good and the smut so good so good so good <laughs> so check out Tana Stone's Draxon Bride what is it called Brides of the Draxon Warriors series. It's so good. It's like a 12 book series, I think, but they're all super short, like under 250 pages each. So check it out. The next one was B8, which was on our board up in the top there. 
and it was random page number. The page number was 239. So for this, I'm going with City of Villains by Estelle Laurie. I am in the middle of this. I'm on page 48. This book has 232 pages. So it's only seven pages off. Yeah. Wow, my brain. Um, and I'm really enjoying this. This is about a girl named Mary, which I'm very interested to see what Disney character she takes out of, out takes after because these are about Disney villains right so like there's James who's Captain Hook Smee is in this Ursula uh, Maleficent uh who's the girl that just went missing I can't remember who it is um I think it's Maleficent though who goes missing like they're all young um there's also like the place that they live is called scar um there's like the mad hatter there's all sorts of different things in here so like not just characters are named after disney villains but towns and stuff like that so it's super good i'm very excited i'm very interested to see who mary becomes because this is a village villain origin story and mary right now is working for the police trying to solve um the disappearance of a classmate and so i'm very interested to see what happens here so that's this so far so good 48 pages in very intrigued so if you have not read this maybe try it i'll let you guys know for sure what i think of it at the end but yeah watch my vlogs to see so yeah and last but not least was O70. And originally I had gotten a book title, but I cannot find the book anywhere. And I believe Karina has it at college. So I can't do anything about that. Um, so I just picked another one and that uh, prompt was Weapon on the cover. And for this, I'm going with, you guys are gonna think I'm nuts, but I'm going with Royal Assassin by Robin Hobb. He is wielding an ax there. And this is about Fitz, who was in um, Assassin's Apprentice. I'm not going to tell you what this has been about so far. I'm only on page 50. Um, but Fitz is a, was a young boy who was dropped off by his gr maternal grandfather um, to the king, who is his paternal grandfather. And when his dad finds out that he is being or he has been dropped off he advocates advocates he decides to give up his position for the throne and then it's fits being raised in the like castle and the kingdom and being used because he like doesn't fit in anywhere but he's still like royalty but like he's not um and he goes through some pretty hard stuff in this book, he just turned, or gosh, hang on. I think he's like 15 when this book starts, 15 or 16. So he's only like a year or two older than my son. So it's really hard to imagine the things he's gone through, my son going through, you know what I mean? Um, but anyway, it's so good. And I've been listening to and reading along. Um, so this is the book I've decided to go for that. I only have about, I think, 10 hours of the audiobook left. So I really need to just sit down and read it. Um, but yeah, this is what I'm going for that. Now, that was all the bingo prompts. However, there is a prompt on the bingo board that I had to pull for and I did one a couple months ago in case I got pull for a bingo game and and then I just never did that so that is one to watch one by Kate Stamen London so this will be on 
like tentative TBR for the month, but it's not like I won't take a punishment if I don't read it. But I just wanted to let you know this is the one that won the poll for the bingo. So, yeah. And as far as the bingo board goes, like I said, I will tell you what books go for what after I'm done reading them. So, anyway, with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Ding the little bell icon so you can get notified when I upload new videos. Consider hitting the subscribe button because it really helps me out. And comment down below. Let me know what of the books I'm reading that you think I should prioritize. And let me know what you're reading in June. Remember to check out the description box where I have all my social media links as well as my Amazon wish list. If you want to see the books and bookish things I'm interested in or if you fancy sending me a surprise. Remember I have mental health links in all of the videos in all the description boxes of all of my videos from the start of 2021. If you or someone you know needs them please use them. Remember guys a reader lives a thousand lives so can you so keep on reading. Remember to stay safe and healthy be happy and kind and always love one another. See you in the next video. Bye. Blue jeans and me Running through Evergreen Pretty blue jeans and me Yeah, she's what I need I still need to recover from another lover You're my picture perfectly Still haven't met your parents, but we hang with your brother when he could use the company.